yes. I actually purchased 87 acres of land out here in Georgia. Peace and blessings, beautiful people. My name is Abril, your resident herbalist, and welcome back to my channel, Beauty Herbs and Tea, where we talk about all things tea, herbs, and resources to help you start your herbal business right now. So if you have been living under a rock and you have not been following my social media platforms, which you should, okay, I will plug my social media right here on the screen because it is popping. We have over like 117,000 followers on my farming page, over almost 60,000 on my, my herbalist page. Y'all, we popping. <laughs> we are popping out here. But if you have not been following my social media pages, then, or if you have, then you've seen the information you have seen the announcement that I have bought a farm. <laughs> yes. I actually purchased 87 acres of land out here in Georgia, y'all. And I am just so excited. I'm so excited. I am amazed at myself that I was able to do this. Um, it truly is it's a full circle moment. If you have been watching my videos, I have been telling you, I posted a video letting you know that I've been looking for land, I've been looking for this farm, and all the things I've been doing to try to buy my land. Now y'all, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, this process was not easy. <laughs> it was not easy. Um, I want to get into a little bit about my process and why I decided to buy some land. Um, at the end of this video, I will show you some clips as far as the land. I will show you some clips of me actually on the land. And I want to tell you what I plan on doing with the land, with the farm, what we plan on doing um, on my new farm. But if you want to know more about the farm, make sure to watch the whole video. All right, y'all. So this has has had to be one of the most challenging things I have ever, <laughs> ever, not ever, ever done in my life, buying land. Um, I have been searching for land for two years now. Um, and it was honestly, like I said, it was very challenging from constantly getting denied for loans, for mortgages, to trying to find people to buy the land with. I was trying to go the community route and that was a challenge, you know, just working with multiple people, you know, to actually coming up with the funds to buy the land. Um, so I do wanna give you a story of the background of how I purchased my land. So I wanna say in 2020, when the pandemic first hit, um, I remember going to grocery stores and and I couldn't find food that, you know, I needed to eat. I have a special diet due to health reasons. And I remember going to the grocery store and there was no food on the shelves. And I said, never again will I be in a position where I cannot feed myself or feed my family. And so I began this journey of becoming a farmer and actually on my farming page, the girly black farmer, I actually document my journey on becoming a farmer. Well, first I volunteer at community gardens in California. I volunteered at local farms in California and I also enrolled in a farming school in San Diego, California. Now I stay in Los Angeles and I was traveling three hours there and three hours back. That's six hours every week y'all to go to this farm school and to learn how to farm. Um, I know someone's going to ask me, the farming school I went to is called Wild Willow Farms. Um, so yes, I did that. I graduated and I also bought a whole bunch of books and I self-studied and I started gardening and I became a farmer. And it's not just a one-stop shop journey. I am still, I'm new to farming. So I'm still continuing my journey of learning how to farm um, because I knew that I wanted to grow food. And so that started my journey of growing my own food as well as wanting to build generational wealth. In my family, I had a talk with my mother and I asked her, I'm like, we don't have, you know, what do we have to pass down to, you know, my, my kids or your grandkids and we don't have anything. And I wanted to break that cycle of not having general generational wealth. So those are a few of the reasons why I wanted to start a farm. So I've been trying to buy land 
and my business was doing really well at the time and I was going to the bank saying hey I am a new business owner I do make a great amount of salary you know I make a great salary I'm able to pay this loan back and that wasn't the case they would not approve me apparently the banks have really strict requirements for entrepreneurs if you're trying to buy land so a little tip if you are you know if you do have a nine to five and you want to buy land or a house keep your job <laughs> keep your nine to five first you know so you can have a track history banks want to see a track history a record of you making money so don't do like I did and quit my job and then try to own property because most banks will deny you. It just, it is what it is. They want to see a history. So even though I went to the bank and said, here, I make six figures, you know, can I get a, a loan? They were like, no, well, we don't know if you're going to make six figures next year. We don't have any history of it. And I mean, it was kind of messed up, but I guess <laughs> that's how the system works. So I was making money in my business, bringing in money and I could not get a loan. So I I went on the journey to raise the capital to purchase my farm on my own. Y'all, I started courses. I started my school. I started the tea business school. I started teaching. I started doing a lot so I could raise the capital. And I was able to do just that along with my business that I already had and with the courses I was offering, I was able to raise a little bit over half the capital for my farm. So what I did was I went back and I took that back to the bank <laughs> and I said, here, I can show you in my bank that I have consistently made twenty to $30,000 every month. I have X amount of money in the bank. I can put down X amount of money. Can you approve me? And y'all, the crazy thing is, I didn't go inside of the bank. I called up there. They didn't even see my face, okay? And I sent them my bank, my bank statements pretty much, and they approved me in two hours, y'all. <laughs> in two hours without even seeing my face, all they saw was them dollars, okay? <laughs> and I got approved for a land loan, you all. So a lot of you all are asking, how did I buy my land? Um, I have been documenting my whole process on buying my land with the idea to teach you all how to become landowners, how to buy a land, and how to farm. So coming out, hopefully in a few weeks, um, I will be teaching you all. You will be able to go over to the Tea Business School and learn how I bought my land so stay tuned for that i'll make sure to include a link for you to sign up for notifications in the description box but let's go ahead and get to what i plan to do on the land first let's talk about the land let's talk about the land the land is absolutely amazing i own 87 acres of land the land is full first of all it's a house on the property okay it's a house on the property the land has utilities it also has a whale so it has a whale it has other water sources as well i have a few ponds and there's like four to five orchards on the actual property as well the orchards have apples pears persimmons plums peaches muscadines grapes there's different kind of nuts it's full of natural herbs it is full of medicinal herbs you all when i tell you this land it is a dream it is a dream when i think about what i want to do with the land so let's get into some things that i want to do with the land the hope is to be able to bring my online classes and offer them in person so i would love to teach you all how to grow your own herbs how to farm my goal for next year is to have in-person immersions where I teach you in two weeks you come and you stay on the land and I teach you how to farm in two weeks and I teach you about herbs I would love to have an herbal class where I can teach you all about the herbs that I grow on my land and you know herbs that we use today and herbalism on my land because I plan on growing them I do plan on having an herb farm um, not so much about vegetables I will grow vegetables for my my personal consumption but the idea is for it to be an herb farm there will be several retreats I will have several in-person classes the ones I just mentioned right now those are already in the books 
uh, plan to have. So a farming immersion and an herbal immersion. Um, I want to have retreats. So I do retreats. I just started my luxurious indigenous herb retreat where I take you all to different countries to learn about indigenous herbs. I want to bring the luxury to my land. And so we will have luxury herb retreats on my land. There will be glamping tents for those who like to live a little bougie. <laughs> there will be glamping tents and luxury accommodations as well as native and indigenous practices on the land. So I want to mix luxury with, you know, indigenous practices. So for example, um, I want to build an oven, you know, in the dirt, in the mud. I want to make clay bricks like our ancestors did and, you know, build a kitchen from our resources. So I'm trying to mix luxury with off-grid living a little bit, I guess you can say. This is not going to be a completely off-grid resort. Like I mentioned, I am a little bougie, so she needs internet, okay? <laughs> I also run a business, so I need internet. Um, I need to be able to ship out orders. I also need plumbing. Um, yes, but we will have some off-grid features, so we will be growing our own food. We will have composting toilets. We will have some off-grid living as far as cooking. There's a lot of off-grid features I plan on including in my land. Um, there will be other retreats, so retreats teaching you how to survive in the wilderness, ret retreats teaching you how to build on your land. All kinds of retreats and classes and courses and workshops will be offered on my land. So I feel like I have rambled enough. Um, I would love to go ahead and show you all my land, give you a little behind the scenes on my actual yes, land. I finally purchased my farm, y'all. I got my land. What you see behind me is just a piece of my 87 acres of land that I just purchased out here in Georgia. So yes, y'all, my farm is coming. <laughs> Beauty Herbs and Tea will now be a farm. I'm, I'm so excited. So I might get another clip of me just talking and talking about the process um, of how I got the farm and the plans for the farm, but it finally happened. So I'm gonna show you all a little bit, us walking the land. The land is amazing, y'all. It has pears, apples, persimmons, peaches, grapes, muscadines, berries. There's so much food, naturally growing food on this land, which is the reason why I decided to buy it. And it's just amazing. It really is going to be a food forest. It's a food forest where we'll be able to live off the land sustainably, grow on food, grow on vegetables. So it's truly amazing. So you will see some clips of us walking the land. I may point out some of the fruit trees, um, some of the apples and the pears growing on the land. how to start your herbal business, make sure to check out my school, The Tea Business School, where I have courses such as my Mastering Tea Blending and Formulation course and my Herbal Business Assistant course. All right, you all, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the development of my land, more information on me developing my land. Let me know in the comments if you all would like for me to document my journey of developing my land. The land needs some work. It is already an established orchard, but we do need to clear some trees. Um, I'm about to buy a zero turn mower and a tractor. So 
<laughs> y'all will see me out there riding a tractor, y'all, getting the land ready. Let me know if you all want me to document that. Um, I don't want to turn this into a farming channel. I was thinking maybe I'll have it on a different channel or keep it here. I asked you all that before, but now that we've grown, I want to ask that again. Let me know what I should do. Should I document my journey and keep everything on this channel? Do you all care about any of that? Do you care about seeing me um, developing my actual land and me farming and me on a mower <laughs> and me on a mower clearing out the brush and things like that. Let me know if I should document my journey, my land journey <clears throat> on this page as well as, you know, the whole farming aspect of it. As always, make sure to check the description box for all of my courses in the Tea Business School and to sign up for the Luxury Indigenous Herbal Retreat. Right now, we only have three spots left, y'all. Three spots left. So if you've been thinking about it, but you haven't quite made up your mind, make sure to do it soon. All right, you all, that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it so I can do more of these type of videos <laughs> but as always make sure to stay safe stay healthy and stay blessed and i'll see everybody in the next video bye